High School Game Night brought to you by JD's Pazzo Pizza in Ephrata. Welcome back to the High School Game Night Halftime Show. I'm Katherine Clark. It's getting late in the season and the section races could not be any tighter. Three teams in each of the sections have a shot at the title. And it's scenarios like this that make our high school football correspondent's job a lot of fun. As always, we're joined by Jeff Reinhardt of PennLive.com. You've got to be enjoying each and every week of this season, Jeff. Oh, it's been crazy. Good to be back here with you, Catherine. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Well, in section one, Wilson still with the best shot at repeating as champs. Give us a quick breakdown there and then fill us in on the new kid on the block at quarterback for the Warwick Warriors. Uh, okay, Wilson, they took a big step here last week. Uh, big win over Mannheim Township, 28 to 14. Bulldogs defense was stingy as usual. Uh, quarterback Jake Templin had a big night, three touchdown passes and a touchdown run. Wilson makes it 48 LL League wins in a row. They remain undefeated. They're the top-ranked team in District 3 Quad A. They get a tough Penn Manor team here in Week 9. Penn Manor can force a tie with a win. If not, Wilson clinches at least a tie for the section, and they're, they're going to be the pick moving forward. We'll see if they can go to 10-0 again. As far as Warwick goes, the Warriors have been playing spoilers here lately. We kind of know that. Uh, Colin Gibble was having a nice season at quarterback. He hasn't been out for the football team in a while. He was doing a good job, but he's got some injury issues right now. So say hello to Tyler Tremarchi, uh, sophomore. He's come in and done a really nice job here for Warwick. Last week coming in in relief against Penn Manor. He went six for six, threw a touchdown pass to Chris Borg. In uh, spot duty this year, he's 12 for 14 for 125 yards and a touchdown. So he's done a nice job keeping Warwick afloat here. They have a tough finish. They get Hemfield here in week nine, and they have to t uh, tangle with Wilson in week 10, which will not be easy. But Tyler's been doing a nice job, so keep an eye on Warwick. We'll see if they can keep playing spoiler. All right, Jeff, on to the chaos. That is section two. We thought we knew what was going to happen last week. Now we're in a three-way tie for the section title. What is going to happen here? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> um, Okay, if I had to say right now, I'd say this is probably going to end in a three-way tie. And I was going through some LL record book stuff this week. Section 2 in the history of the league has never finished in a three-way tie. There's been a lot of two-way ties, but never a three-way tie. So, Cocal and here's the weird thing. LS, Cocalico, and Mannheim Central, they've already all played each other. So, there'll be no more head-to-head first-place showdown games here in the last two weeks. So, if Cocalico, LS, and Mannheim Central all win out, They'll all get a piece of the pie. They'll share the section title. If anybody loses and the other teams keep winning, they're going to share it. So, you know, I'm, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking three-way tie again. I, I think those teams will take care of business. Uh, I think L LS has got to be the happiest team in the lot because they went from getting beat up pretty bad by Mannheim Central in Week Seven to being tied here with a shot at, at, at you know, winning a piece of the pie. So. I'm going to say we're going to end in a tie here. I think everybody takes care of business, uh, sticks to their business, and uh, gets their wins. Uh, I think the only team that might have a little bit of a tricky go will be Cocalico if Dante Haynes doesn't play their fine dual threat quarterback. But if everybody takes care of business, Kat, we're looking at a three-way tie in Section 2. All right, well, hopefully they're okay with sharing. <laughs> and <Yeah>. finally, Section <laughs> 3, basically. In the same scenario as Section 2 was last week, Northern Lebanon with the section lead, but they played Donegal, who's hot on their heels. So could this get all muddled up as well? Uh, whew, I have a hunch it might. Um, I picked Donegal back in August to win. Those guys are the defending champs. They want their title back. They've been playing really well since week four when they lost to Anvil Cleona. They're on a nice winning streak. Donegal goes to Northern Lebanon here in week nine. If the Vikings win, it would be their first crown since 1991. They'd get at least a share of it here with a win in, in week nine. Northern Lebanon's only won two LL titles, 1986 and 1991. So none of the kids playing now were even born the last time that they had a, a section title in Fredericksburg. So uh, Northern Lebanon's been hot, six wins in a row. They've been terrific, a great story, but I got to stick with my guns. I picked Donegal to win this thing in August. I think they're playing really well right now. They have to go behind enemy lines here in week nine, but I have a hunch they're going to get the job done, so I would not be surprised in the least if Section 3 finishes in a tie. And Cleona would also be in the mix if, uh, if it can win out. If Northern Lebanon wins here in week nine, they'd be in the driver's seat. But like you said, in Section 2, it's crazy. It could get crazy here in Section 3 if Donegal wins here in, uh, in week nine. 
Well, thank you, Jeff, for joining us again this week. We'll see you next Friday for week 10. You got it. Thank you. Don't forget to check out Jeff's work at PennLive.com for all the latest on high school athletes throughout the LL League. And speaking of next Friday, what a way to end the regular season. BRC 11's featured game is Lancaster Catholic at Cocalico. The Crusaders on the outside of the playoff picture, but could play spoiler for the Eagles. It's shaping up to be a fantastic end of the season, and you can see it all live right here on BRC 11 in HD. Our coverage begins next Friday at 7 o'clock. That'll do it for the halftime show. Thanks for watching. Just a reminder, High School Game Nights Post to Game Show airs tonight at 1030 with Chad Landers and Brian Cast. But for now, we'll send you back to War Memorial Field for a second half action between Elko and Ephrata. Enjoy.